the, the environment here uh, in Casa Grande is fantastic because the Grande Sports World is, is such an excellent place from facilities to hotels to food. Off the field here, we spend a lot of time together as well, um, you know, playing euchre or, you know, watching TV together. So it's great um, getting to know the guys and building that bond. You know, there's a lot of practical jokes being played, um, just a lot of joking around, uh, but once we get on the field, it's all business and we're looking to, uh, you know, get to know uh, each other's tendencies and stuff like that to, uh, to familiarize ourselves with how we're going to play. We're really trying to balance a group uh, physically to get ready for the games, knowing we've got quite a few games ahead of us, but also looking at the players that we have, what we want to see from those players and what kind of roles and situations we can create in our team and our formation. Uh, to let them get out there and express themselves and showcase themselves. The communication and the laughing and the stories and how they connect on a daily basis has been pretty impressive. And then you try to lighten the mood on the training field and try to find ways that, for them to interact competitively too because as much as we want them to socialize at a meal, uh, more importantly it's the competitive side of what they do on the field that's going to make us prosper and make them individually be at their best. It was, it was good to get a, a competitive game. Um, Vancouver is a, is a good side, obviously, so um, you know we built from there and these are the type of games that will you know aid us in our season. Uh, the first 10-15 minutes uh, was a little tough for us. Uh, you just got to get up to the speed of play. Um, that was our first game so it's different than practices so um, you know once we got up to the speed I think um, you know everyone got a little bit more comfortable and uh, nerves went away a little bit and we started uh, moving the ball uh, uh, well, so um, we took a lot of positives out of it. We were pleasantly surprised. It was a little bit of nervous energy in the 10, first 10, 12 minutes, you could tell. Uh, our guys were excited to be out there and kind of keen to get going, and we just had to stabilize ourselves a little bit. We were a little rocky there the first 10 minutes. You could see fatigue, but you didn't see any, any issues with effort, which is a positive sign. The, the tactical issues and some of the movement and some of the spaces just takes a little bit of time for them to, as you say, get to know each other, uh, but also get to know the opponent. Because a lot of them don't understand the level we're going to play against in these games here in Arizona where we're playing high level teams, a higher level than us, in MLS squads that are pretty well put together. Uh, the Kansas City game coming up will be uh, another great opportunity to play some uh, extended period of time with these guys. So we're really going to try not to hold off on any kind of judgments yet and use the entire body of the two weeks while we're out here to make some assessments.